Rhonda and this is Joy Junktique and I just want to welcome you back to my channel and for all my new subscribers I'm so glad you're here well today I just wanted to show you a little something I've been working on I'm making these little coffee filter pockets and you can either add them to your journal pages or use them on the front of your your book cover There's lots of possibilities with them so I wanted to show you these today and just let you see how fun and how easy it was to make these. All the digitals today are sample. I had been digging through some of my stuff, looking for some, uh, just some ideas. And I had found this one that I had made and had just put back in my little stash of stuff. So I thought I would make some more. I wanted us to make a couple together here in a minute. So this is what I have done so far. So as I folded the coffee filters I realized that you could do them a couple of different ways as far as this kind of pocket so on this one I just um, folded it I folded it up first and then the sides in which gave me a little divider on the inside where you can also you know keep things divided in there if you want the front pocket on the inside raises it up a little bit more so the one in the back can be something a little longer, a little bigger. So there's lots of options with that. So you have the pocket here and you have another pocket in there. Let me grab something to put in it. So then we have another pocket that you can divide with right there. And so that can slip into the front now that one will stand up a little higher so we would need to put something that's not quite so high so there we go okay so that just shows you how you can use both of those little pockets that are inside um, like that so when this goes back in here then I also have a little tuck spot to the side right here so I just tuck that right there so that's how I did that one. So um, this is another one that I made that is this style where you fold it to where um, the flap is on the inside. And then I made another little tuck spot here that I slipped a card in. And then I have cards stuck back here and I just kind of put my little pieces in there. Um, these here are the same size as this one. And so when I tucked this down in here, it was a little deep for it. Kind of went a little farther than I wanted it to in that back pocket. The front one makes it stand up a little more. But the back one kind of has more room to slide down into. So rather than let that tag be way down in the pocket, I just decided to layer a couple. And so I used this under it to extend it a little bit. Then it still wasn't as long as I wanted, so I just made me a little paper ruffle, just folded it up and glued it, and then I kind of secured the top with this little piece of cardstock. But that extended it even farther so that when I stick it down in this pocket, it is able to go, when it's in the back pocket, it's able to go um, all the way to the bottom but still be seen at the top. Kind of stand up from it. So then this one just kind of tucks into that front little section and they layer like that so I really like how that looks like that and then just add something here and then this was just an extra piece so I just tucked it down in here too so that makes a really pretty little pocket and I just used my little tatting and pearls this was a little button that was perfect for this project because it brought out this color and just pieces of lace here and there this was just a little a crocheted piece that was falling apart but it fit the space perfect so this one's a little bit shabbier but I kind of like it that way and I wanted to show you too okay so I don't know if you can see it but these pages are a little faded like the the color bled and the reason was because I printed it out first and realized that I had not stained my paper first so I just kind of spritzed it with some coffee just to see what would happen. I figured it would run and it did, but I actually liked the effect of it because it made it look even older and even more uh, worn and 
aged. So all these are from that. And I just, I, I went ahead and used them because I really liked the effect I got. But you can see how the colors ran through the paper too. So the back is more pink now. But that was a mistake. Um, but I kind of liked how that mistake turned out. So I just kept them and used them in this grungy pocket. So there's that one. Really cute. But I also did where you can fold it a different way where the flap is on the outside and it makes an outside pocket. I just took and folded the sides of the filter in first and the bottom up last so that you had a pocket at the bottom on the front. So that's how that one is done. Just used up all my little scraps and pieces and it made a really pretty little pocket. Or it could also be the front of a journal if you wanted it to be. Glue it to the front the front cover. So those just, just turned out really cute. And I thought we would make a couple together today. Just so you can kind of see how simple and how fun, how easy it is to make these. So let's just, I wanted to get into showing you how I did them. There's all kinds of ways, and there's lots of videos on different ways you can do this. But um, I just wanted to show you my version of it and how I was able to use up my scraps and still come up with something pretty. So I'm going to move these aside, and I'm going to bring my coffee filters over. Our family drinks a lot of coffee, me and my husband especially. I've been drinking coffee since I was two, and it's just one of those things that we enjoy. So we drink a lot of coffee, so I have saved up coffee filters, um, just kind of rinsed them off and let them dry. So they're already stained and perfect and ready to go. So all I did, um, if you want the, the little divider on the inside, then I just folded it up first from the bottom, and then you fold your side flaps in. And depending on what size your tags are that you're using, that kind of determines how far you fold in. So you may have to adjust it as you go. A lot of times I don't even measure. I just kind of eyeball it and then go from there. So this one I need to open up just a tad more. And even if you've already folded, it's okay because it's very forgiving. You can kind of angle it at the bottom even if you want. Now this one, let's see, we need to get them to where they at least kind of touch in the middle so that you can glue it together just a tiny bit. There we go, that works perfect. So we have it just barely touching in the center and that, that's perfect for this tag. Now if your tag is skinnier, then you can go farther over. But, um, and then as you cover this, you're not gonna see any of this underneath, depending on what you want, and you'll still have the little flap inside. Okay, so now that we've got that measured, then I'm just gonna gather up a few of my little lace scraps. Um, but before I go any farther, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did the other one. So on the other way, and I'm sure y'all know this or can figure this out, but, um, you just fold it from the sides first, like that, and then you would fold the bottom up last, and that puts your little pocket on the outside, just like that. So it's two simple ways to do it, depending on how you want your tags to, to sit inside of it and what you want to go on the outside. Okay, so I've pretty much got scraps everywhere, so I'm just going to pull from all of my little sources here. Um, so let's just start, let's start with this one. Okay, so I just need to find something to go on that bottom, or actually, what I did on these so when you take the tag out, you can kind of see. I just put little scraps that kind of made the same shape as my coffee filter. So it's kind of rounded. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But I kind of just cut out pieces and formed it 
to kind of go with that curve. So I'm just going to find bits and pieces that I can place together, kind of layer, just to cover as much of the coffee filter as I want. So let's just see what we got. I, um, I like to use this because it's just super light and airy and you can still see the coffee filter through it. So I'm just going to place that there for now. I think I want to use this on one of them, probably this one. I'm going to put that on the little flap. So I'm going to just lay this here so that as I go, I can kind of place stuff on that one too. Now this, whenever I worked on this, with this I mean, I was able to cut out the little curve of the flowers. And so the curve of that kind of kind of fits that little my cat's decided to come sit with us um so you can kind of go with the curve right there and let the flowers show and cover up some of that so i think i'm just going to cut a little bit of that i'm going to go with this little piece right here and y'all know how you have that pair of scissors that just doesn't cut well that's this pair but sometimes that can be used to your advantage if you want it to look a little um rough on the edges then I go ahead and use that pair of scissors and let it saw through my material because it gives you that natural little rough edge just from cutting it with the scissors so I just kind of take my time and saw away at the fabric and just let it let it kind of give it that little rough edge and if not, you can always go back and, like if you want to use your good scissors, then you can always go back and just kind of pull the edges, separate them, rough them up a little bit. But sometimes it's fun just to let the scissors do the work for you, even though it is aggravating not cutting through it. But it kind of works for this, so... I'm going to take this piece and see, I think it'll go this way better, and see how it just kind of formed to the curve of that. So I'll lay this back over here until we figure out what we want. So you're just going to kind of play with the lace for a little bit and yeah. just tear this one. I'm going to try to shape it by stretching it and pulling it and let it just sit on that edge like that. And then I'll trim off the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down because I know I want this here. And something else you need to think about when you're gluing these coffee filters is to put something in between your layers. So let me grab something for that. Otherwise, the glue goes through and it sticks together and then you're in a mess. So I'm just going to place that down and grab something to put behind it. So I'm just going to slide this down in here. So we're going to put that there. And then I'm going to glue this here. So I'm just going to put some glue on my flowers. Start there and then I'll add more glue as I need it. I'm going to get the thickest parts of my lace first. So that maybe I don't have to put glue in all those little um, holes that's in the fabric. Okay, so let's let's keep going, putting our lace. Let's find some more lace. Okay. So I have this that would be pretty. Okay, so let's see what else I got in this stack. Um, got this really pretty lace. I could cut off that big flower. Or pieces of flowers. Here's one. If you don't have fabric scraps, you could just collage them with paper. Because that would be really cute too. Use up all those little paper scraps. So let's see what this does. Let's move this over here. And we may could put that on top and let it hang over a little bit right there. 
think that would be pretty or let's see go this way yeah that works better okay so i think we'll put it this way because it actually fits the space better that way so i'm going to go ahead and glue that where i have it just put a little glue here and there for now y'all I, I really am working on the giveaway I've just had so much going on right now that if, I just want to make sure I have a good one. So I'm just taking my time and going to try to do a really good job on it. And with all of my other obligations, I have just had to just do it little by little. Take my time and come back to it as I can. So don't give up on me. I promise it's coming. And so I'll get that done just as soon as possible. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about my new subscribers and the progress that I'm making on the channel. So I just love that y'all are here and that you enjoying what I'm making and creating. Thank y'all for all your sweet comments and all the love you show me each time. Okay, I don't want it to be perfect, but I don't want it to be right on the edge either. Let me trim just a tad more right there. Okay. So this is what we have so far. We're going to keep going with it. And check this paper every once in a while and make sure you're not glued down to the sheet that you have in there either because it will glue shut on that too. So something else we need to do is to find something for the bottom. Let's get this little spot and then look for something for the bottom. So maybe we can use, I don't know, let's put that one aside. I may just go with another piece of this for now. So I can still kind of raise that up a little bit and tuck something right there. So I think I'll do that. The only thing is I need to go this way, which fits the space better anyway, so that it all kind of has the same, um, so that it just doesn't look like I've just glued it haphazardly there. Let it have a little bit of rhyme and reason. So I'm just gonna kind of tuck that under there. Spread it out where I want it. And then I'm going to glue this little piece down over it. Like that. And I don't think it'll matter that this isn't all the way down because we're going to bring another piece of lace there. So I'm just going to snip these little edges off. Okay, so we've got that pretty well done. So let's go ahead and I need to make sure this is actually glued together too. Because it never did glue. So let's put a little bit of glue right here on this little tiny edge just to kind of keep those together. Slide my paper around a little bit. Make sure it's not sticking to it. Okay, so let's find something for here. So I think I'm going to put this right here. Just as the little bottom edge there. Now the thing about this one is I'm not going to have a little tuck spot on the front unless I make one. Unless I create one with my lace. Because how this one has to glue together, it's not really an option. I should have, if I, I could have put this down here and used it as a tuck. And I could still put another flower there. So let's look at that before I glue this on. That one is definitely going to be too big. Let's keep looking. Let me just cut this flower off so we can see it from both sides. So if we did it like that. 
that might be that might work good let's just cut that little piece out of there let's see about this piece I think I like that one I think that one fits the space better. So I'm just gonna glue that down there. Let's see, I don't know if we're even gonna need this anymore. I guess we could, let's see. Let's try it underneath. Like that, and then like that. I think I like that. I think that looks good. Okay, so let's glue this down. I'm just gonna take a little line here. And also, because the way this one folds, it leaves a gap here. So you don't really have a pocket yet until you glue it. So we're just gonna take and glue that shut while we're right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that pocket shut. Okay, so where did my little piece of lace go? Uh -huh. Here it is. So I'm gonna glue this here. And I don't have to worry about it being perfect as much anymore because we're going to cover up that little edge anyway with this. Okay, so on this one we just want to glue around the bottom and the sides because we want that to be a little pocket. So I'm just going to take and glue those. I think this is going to be pretty. I'm going to go ahead and go up here a little bit because there's not much to glue to at the bottom. So I'm going to catch that next little layer there. Okay. So I think that's going to work. So this is what we got. I'm just going to kind of straighten it a little bit. Kind of got a little crooked. So there's that. So this leaves a cute little tuck right here in the front. Okay, so now let me check this and undo this. It's still trying to stick a little bit. I'm gonna take that out because I think it's, it's good enough now that we can pull it apart. Okay, so then we have our little inside with our little divider that will leave us room if we want to divide it you don't have to you could even glue that down if it's something that you don't want to fool with if you want it to stay on the inside so there's that okay so um now we just need to add a few little embellishments to it so like this one all i did was add these little this little rose lace and a tiny little bow i tied out of a scrap piece so that just finished that one off. And this one, all I did was add this little flower to the top and a little pearl. I've got glue everywhere, y'all. Um, and then a little satin rag strip bow. So that's all I did to that. Other than there's a little piece of lace that was shimmery I added. And the little tiny lace at the bottom. So really all I embellished, this one was the pearls, the button, this little piece of um, crochet lace that was falling apart. So it doesn't take much to finish them off um, and give them, you know, just that added little something that makes them stand out. So let me see what we can find. It wouldn't hurt to have just a tiny little bit of color or bling i found this pretty little pink rose which i thought might work um if we use pink the tags that have the pink in them i thought that would be pretty um and then i found this little pearl uh whatever you call that and then i found this i have some more rhinestones in this little jar here so i thought we would try okay so i was going to try this but I'm not sure it's going to fold up like I need it to, to, to be bunched. It just doesn't want to fold up really good, but I'm going to try. Here and see if it works. 
that's holding it. Okay, so then I have a little bit of this netting. It's just got the tiniest little hint of pink. So I'm going to try to kind of bunch it too and just layer me a few little fabrics here. Just so we can get some little interest going here. And then I'm going to take and glue my little pearl strand here. I'm just going to try to stick it up under there somewhere. Like that. And then let's glue our little rose on here. I didn't realize it, but this is actually ceramic. Maybe it's clay. I'm not sure. We're going to glue this on here. Right on top of that bunch of fabric. So we have that. Boy, I think it must be fixing a rain because the light disappeared on me. Let's see if I can get a little bit more turning my shades. Okay, so there's that. Here's the little pearl. It's kind of hard to see. So that's kind of cute. Just very simple, very um, delicate looking. So let's see, I may add a little rhinestone or two here and there. I'm not sure. Let's see what it looks like. I want the tiny ones if I do. So let's get these two little tiny ones here. So maybe put one there. One there. So maybe just do those two. Just gonna put a teensy bit on this. Okay, now let's do the same with this one. Then I'm gonna put this one here. And there we have our cute, cute little pocket. Now this couldn't go inside of a journal, of course, because it's got this, the raised elements on it, but it would be very pretty on the front, or you could just let it be something that comes with it to use separately. Um, so let's see, I have some pictures already cut and ready. I like this one a lot. And that would be really pretty with this lace. So I'm going to stick it down in there. And then I thought about using this one. But I kind of want some variation there. That's pretty. But I may... Let me see what this one looks like. Because the flowers come all the way up to the top on this one. So they would be more likely to stand out from the rest of it. I'll have to trim the corners on that one. But if we did that, then we could use a photo here maybe, and you would still see the flowers. And this actually has baby shoes, which would be sweet with that. So I may use this one. Okay, where did my little corner rounder go? Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. This little thing makes it super easy to trim the corners of these photos where you don't have to cut them out because I never get those corners right. I'm just going to stick that down in there like that. And then we've got this cute little photo. Let's see if I can get any more room right there without it coming off. We can do it just like that. And I think that's really pretty. Super, super sweet. Add a little bow. We could do that. Um, and I think I'm just going to take some of this super tiny little satin fabric. Um, it's just strips that I ripped. So I'm just going to tie a super tiny one so it doesn't take away from all the other things. We don't want any competition on here. 
And since there's already so much going on on it, with all the lace and the bling, I'm just going to do a super simple little tiny bow. And that'll be really cute. If I want it there, or up there, I think there is going to make it hard for the picture, so let's just do it here. Let's go right here. Super sweet. Looks so cute. And if you didn't like the difference in the color variation here with the old photo and the, the more white, you could just use one of these for whatever digitals you have. So either way is gorgeous, I think. I may kind of like this better, actually. So I think I'm going to leave that like that. So pretty. And samples digitals are just so pretty to work with. So there's that one. We'll put it aside. Okay, so let's work on this one now. Okay. So we could put this here and kind of shape it like that. Cut off the excess. Y'all are probably like, what is it? She just gets her good scissors. But I really want to make this work. Because I like how it's making the edges rough. I'm just going to take it up right there. Now that one, it did good, didn't it? Almost need to make that look rougher now. Okay, so we're just going to go like this, I'll stretch it as I glue it. So let's get a glue going. Go ahead and let that catch each other right there. So let's use this little edge that we trimmed specifically for that edge. And we'll just let that fall like that. Because then when this comes up, there's no need to worry about that. Okay, so we've got that. So let's find something for this side. I kind of like to mix the white and the cream too because that way it pretty much works for whatever graphics you're using. If you kind of mix your different shades of white lace and cream lace. So another thing about the lace that you add on here is it kind of secures and steadies up the coffee filter so that it's not so flimsy. So whenever I pick my lace, I kind of like to have something that's going to add a little bit of um, stiffness to it so that it, it can keep its shape better and be more usable. Okay, so I have this. It might be pretty on that side. Just kind of shape it to it. I'll trim this little corner off. Okay. So let's go ahead and trim that way so we have something to go with on the bottom. And I'm going to trim. Right here. 
Okay. So there is that. And then we'll come back in a minute and trim the side. We're going to go like this. Get some glue down. All right, so we're just going to touch that to the edge of that. Let it kind of curl around. And then when this fills up, that's what you'll see. Okay, so let's get this edge done. All right, move all this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and take this tip off. Okay. So we got that. I'm going to take this edge off a little better. Okay. All right. So now I wanted to use this at the bottom, but I need some little something under it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go with a piece of this really quick. So I'm just going to cut a piece. Just going to cut a regular old piece here. So we're going to take this, kind of stretch it a little bit. And don't forget to get something to put in between these layers. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then this will glue here. Like that. And then we can turn around and glue. there at the top and kind of curve it around the top edge so just loosen that up make sure it's not sticking and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the sides closed here like that And I think this little picture is going to be precious in here. So I'm glad we saved it for this one. I found just a few little things. Um, I found this really kind of tattered uh, sheer fabric here. So I thought I would just kind of bunch it up. I'll just make a little cluster with it. And I'm going to glue that down right here in this corner where it looks like something's missing. my little piece back in here. I had taken it out, but I think we're going to need it for a minute just to make sure it doesn't glue everything shut. And then I thought I would put this cute little really old button. So I'm going to glue that. And then I have this really rusty safety pin. I was going to see if I could find something to pin right there. So I'll look for that in just a second too. Um, I also had this little scrappy piece of fabric that I made a little bow out of. So I'm going to put it right there. And then let's see, I've got this little picture that I want, I want to, I think it would be better to put it in the back. I like it here, but then whatever is here is not going to show that much. 
Okay, so maybe I should take and extend this like I did the other. I think I'll glue that on there. And that way, let's just try it first before I glue it and make sure it's gonna, where I need to put it on this paper. So if that slides down in there, then I kinda need it like that, don't I? Okay, so that way you can still see those little girls peeking out. Even with that in there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just want them to be seen. Let me glue this where this is at right now. everywhere so okay so I have this tiny little scrap piece that has like a lace pattern on it so I'm just gonna trim around some of that and use that at the bottom like that okay so I trimmed that down to where it'll fit at the bottom so I'm just gonna add that to it I'm gonna curve this a little bit better on this side so it looks more rounded right here Okay, so I'm going to take and glue that to the back right there. And that just extends it a little more, adds a little bit of detail. So let me ink around those edges really quick and make that stand out from the other. And putting that bottom edge on it, it's gonna, um, that little piece here, it's gonna help it to not catch on anything too as it goes in. I think, I think it's gonna be more rounded and slide in there easier now that we've got that done. Okay, so there's how that looks. And then we'll add some other little something here. Maybe just a simple little piece of lace. Let's do that. So do that like that. Maybe. See what we got here. That. So let's add some glue right here. And I like that this shows where the stitching was too. I think that looks really cute. Okay, so there's that tag, and it's got the cute little photo on it, to where we can use the photo in here, but it will be in a spot to where it will stand up from the back. It stands up a little high, but I think I kind of like that. We may put some little something here, though. So, I wanted to show that I had found this little piece of scrap fabric, and I just pinned it on to this bottom pocket, and then... What I thought I would do is to add some color, I would pull in this little photo that had the little child's gown, really sweet, and the pink flowers. So that would add some color down to the bottom in this pocket. And then to pull in the pink at the top, since this is really aged looking, I thought I would um, just add a little piece of this kind of netting fabric and this wax melt so i thought that would pull it all together so i'm just going to glue those really quick and that way we will have our little project for the most part complete 
You see how I want that little netting to go. Let's just do it like that. Okay. I just think this will add the perfect little pale pink touch to it and bring us a little pink up top. And I think this one will be done. I love it. I love all of them, how they turned out. I think they're really pretty. So I'm proud of what we did today. They're all different and unique and all add a little special something to the pages of your journal. And this one I think would make a really pretty cover with this little rose on the top. So y'all will probably be seeing these in some of my next projects. So I just love how they turned out and it was so simple just with your scraps and actually my scrap um, coffee filters that I just rinsed and let them dry. So that's a good way to use up all your little leftovers another good way to use up all your little leftovers and to make something really really pretty and and sam pool's um digitals her her printable pictures here are just gorgeous make your projects beautiful so i hope y'all had fun with me today i hope you liked what we created and i hope to be seeing you soon in the next video and y'all just have a wonderful rest of your week and feel my hugs. God bless.